All right, Algebra guys, this is Unit 8, Note 6. So one of the biggest ways to apply a radical is using Pythagorean Theorem. Now, you'll see a lot more of Pythagorean Theorem in geometry, but it's a good thing to talk about now just to kind of get your minds into it. So the Pythagorean Theorem deals only in right triangles, and so right triangles mean that there's a right angle. So let's take a look at what we got here. Cyclone Roller Coaster in New York, Coney Island is one of the most copied roller coasters in the world. Since it was built in 1927, seven copies of the coaster have been built. The first drop is 85 feet tall, and the length from the bottom of the roller coaster to the bottom of the first hill is 147 feet. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to estimate the length of the first hill. So, the first drop is 85 feet tall. Alright, so that's 85 feet tall. And the length from the bottom of the roller coaster to the bottom of the first hill is 147 feet. So from the bottom of the roller coaster to the bottom of the first hill is going to be 147 So I'm assuming that they mean that. So there is my Pythagorean theorem. So the length of the first hill, the length of this drop-off is what we're trying to find. So Pythagorean theorem says that if I've got a right triangle, like I do here, like this is, you know, 90 degrees. Woohoo, that makes it right. It says this. It says, in a right triangle, which says ABC, A squared plus B squared, not plus, equals C squared. You guys have seen this before, I guarantee it. So how does this apply here? Well, here we go. Here's side A. Here's side B. We're trying to figure out side C. So 5 squared, four squared equals C. So 85 squared plus 147 squared is going to be 28. Eight, three, four, 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 to figure out my answer. So I get C to be approximately 169.81. So in context, um, this length is going to be 169.81 feet. So Pythagorean theorem we talked a little bit about before. If three theorem, then they form right triangle. We call that a Pythagorean tri triple. So three lengths that work perfectly. So one of the simplest ones is just like three, four, and five. So three squared, four squared equals five squared. That's a true mathematical statement right there. So that's going to be what we consider a Pythagorean triple. So find the missing lengths of the following right triangles. If necessary, write your answers as simplified radicals. So A is 8, B is 15, so that would be 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 5 squared. So that's 4, that's 225 squared. So all that together is going to be 289. Root, square, root. square root of 289 is nothing more than 17. So this would be a Pythagorean triple. Now, 1884, a little bit bigger numbers. Go to your calculators if you need. need to figure out what we got. So, 18 squared plus 24 squared is going to be nothing more than 900. So, if I square root that guy, that's going to be 30. There we go. So, now let's take a look at these bottom guys here. So, A is 10, C is 25. So, this is going to be a little bit different. Notice they give me C. So that's going to be 10 squared plus B squared equals 25 squared. Now it's a little bit of solving. 100 plus B squared equals 25 squared, I believe, is 625. So let's subtract 100, subtract 100. So I'll kind of move over this over here. B squared is going to be equal to 525. Now I'd love to be able to tell you that 525 is a perfect square root, but it is not. So when I square root this... I've got to divide it. I've got to simplify it. Well, b is square root of b squared is b. 525 can be split up into 25 
and 21. Square root of 25, you guys should know by now, is 5. So there would be my simplified radical answer. So for number 4, a squared plus 11 squared equals 21 squared. 21 squared, 121. 21 squared is 441. So subtract 121. A squared equals 3, 2, 0. Again, this will not be a perfect square root. But what I can do is this. When I square root, square root, 320 can be split up, and I had to do a little work to do this, is can be split up into 64 and 5. So I had to play around with that a little bit. So I get 64 times square root of 5. So my answer is going to be 8 square root of 5. Again, I had to play around with it a little bit. I tried some numbers to see what is the biggest one that um, 320 can be divided by. What's the biggest perfect square 320 can be divided by? So, determine whether the following side measures form a right triangle. All this means is that we try Pythagorean theorem and see if it's a true statement. All right, if those are equal, it's a right triangle. If not, then it doesn't work. So, 20 squared is 400. We just figured out 21 squared is 441. 29 squared is going to be 841. I have a good feeling about this one. Yes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, that one works. Number six, and again, you might want to try a couple of these on your own so you can hit pause and try and see what you get. 64 plus 100. 12 squared is 144. I do not have a good feeling about this one. No, that one does not work. 9, 12, and 16. 9 squared plus 12 squared equals 6 squared. So that's 81 plus 144 equals 16 squared, which is going to be 256. So 81 plus 144 is going to work. 225 equals 256. No. Try 10, 24, 26. So 10 squared. 24 squared is going to be 576. 26 squared is going to be 676. I have a good feeling about this one. Yes. So what is the area of the triangle ABC? So in order to figure out the area, wow, we got to go way back here. Area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is nothing more than one half base times height. So now we have the base. We have 12. We do not have the height right here. But we can figure out the height using Pythagorean theorem. So we'll let this be b. So b squared plus b squared equals 20 squared. So that's 144 plus b squared. So that's going to be 256 square root square root. And that's going to be 16. So now, the area is one half base times height. I have the base, that's 12. I have the height, that's 16. So it doesn't matter how you do this, you just multiply them all together or whatever you do. 96 is going to be the area of that thing. 96 units squared. That's going to be the area of that thing, of that triangle. So the shopping center has a diagonal walkway from one corner to, the no to another. The walkway is about 70 meters long. What is the approximate length of each side of the center? So you have a square walkway. This is 70. It's square, meaning these two are equal. So I'll let this be x and I'll let this be x. What is the approximate length of each side of the center? So when it says approximate, that tells me that a decimal is going to be OK. So that is what we'll do. So. We have x squared plus x squared equaling 70 squared. So this is saying 2x squared equals 70 squared, which is going to be 4,900. So if I divide by 2, divide by 2, x squared is going to equal 2,450. Square root, square root. x is going to be approximately 49 point. 
four nine eight. So almost forty nine point five meters. Pretty close to that. But notice how when it told me it was a square, that tells me that guy's equal. That allows me to do this. So proof of the Pythagorean theorem. If you look, three squares, four squares, five squares. That is proof that it works. So if the perimeter of the four, square one is 160, perimeter of square two is 120, what is the perimeter of square three? So perimeter, of, they're all squares. So basically what we need to do is take each perimeter divided by four. So that makes this 40, 40, 40, 40. That makes this 30, 30, 30, 30. Well, 30 squared squared. is going to be 2,500. So if I take the square root of 2,500, you can probably guess what that's going to be. And it's going to be 50. So my perimeter is going to be 200 for uh, square 3. All right, that's all I got. Um, play around with this, see what you come up with. Be very, very careful about how you solve it. Uh, because it's quite easy to get screwed up. Make sure you simplify your radicals unless it says approximate.